Hey guys, so by the time this goes up, I think I'll have one more New York vlog to put up and then it'll officially be over and my trip to New York will be officially a memory. I think I've been like putting off doing the last vlog because I'm like, oh, I want to keep it alive as long as possible. Um, but at least five of them are up and it's just the last day's vlog that I need to edit. So I figured now was as good a time as any to do my New York haul and also I figured I better hurry up and do it because I think quite a lot of the stuff that I bought other than like one shop, everything that I bought is available in both the UK and the US, so although it's a New York haul, you can buy the stuff in the UK if you are UK based, but a lot of it's actually gone on sale now, which is really annoying because so as law, if I hadn't bought it, it wouldn't have made it into sale, it would have sold out, but I did buy the stuff and then it's gone on sale and that's really annoying, but anyway, I'm going to not linger because I love it and I'm really glad that I secured it when I did and if I hadn't got it, I'd have been gutted, so... We're not going to linger on the disappointment of that. But I'm just going to go on and show you what I bought while I was in New York. Everything's kind of expensive but obviously I was in New York. I was on holiday and yeah, I bought expensive things, whatever. I feel like anyone that's going to find fault with that is going to find it whether or not I try and disclaim it or justify it or whatever. So I'm just not going to bother. Um, so I've been to a lot of Kate Spade. <laughs> There's a lot of Kate Spade in this haul. Um, then I got two handbags from Henry Vendel which was so so beautiful and then um, one little thing from another shop. I will start with the two handbags. So I went to Henry Vendel which is just a really really beautiful store in New York um, and you can buy stuff from them online, have it shipped to the UK so it is accessible. It's one of those brands that's kind of, it's expensive enough that it is sort of like a designer brand. Uh, you know I would say it's probably about the same kind of price point as it's maybe a little bit more expensive than Kate Spade actually but in that kind of range where it's not like it's not like Chanel or Dior or anything like that but it's um it's not really high street either but it is like their own brand and they're not really sold in a, as a concession in other stores so it's kind of a slightly weird one to explain but anyway I got two handbags from there so the first one I don't actually know which one's in which bag so I'm just gonna go into this bag first stripes on stripes here is a good look with my my top and my bag. Oh, this is the one I like better. I love the two of them, don't get me wrong, but this is this is my favourite one. So you get the stripy dust bag as well, and it says Henry Bendel, New York. Oh, isn't it the most beautiful thing? So it's a really structured one, this one. And it's just very, very plain at the front. Uh, the little class there does say Henry Bendel on it, and then it does say Henry Bendel at the back. But I think Bendel's is like a brand that unless you sort of have been to New York or you're aware of it, you're not going to know it. And I kind of like that because I feel like not everyone's going to know where my bag's from. But I think it's so, so, so beautiful. They call this grey, but it's definitely a sort of bluishy tone to it. So it shuts like that and then you would pull that round and open up the bag. So this is what it looks like when it's open. So it's obviously stuffed at the moment. And I'm going to keep it stuffed. But I'll take it out to show you guys. It's so cute, I haven't even noticed. And I don't think you guys will be able to see but inside it's got the back pocket but there's a little bow there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not but there's a little bow in the back pocket which is really cute. So this is the Uptown Satchel and this is the shade Dark Grey, this colour. But it's definitely, I would say it's more blue looking at it than grey. But, and it, I mean it is a bit grey but I wouldn't say it's like dark grey. It's not like almost black or anything. So your eyes are not deceiving you if you're like, that's definitely not grey. It's like a grey shade blue. Um, and pre-tax this was $498 and I think it's about $600-ish. Although I bought something, I bought a candle at the same time, so it was maybe like 5 50 with the tax on. Um, and then at the other side, so it's got a big pocket at the back, and then at the other side it's got the little pockets for your phone and stuff. I just adore this bag. I love it. And then the other bag I got from Bendel's, I actually got on sale, so I didn't pay full price for this one. Again, same dust bag, so the dust bags don't change season to season, because this I think was the, the older season obviously because it was on sale when we got there. It's actually quite similar, it's a structured bag but it's a softer leather so this one's going to scratch more easily. Um, so I've not actually taken this out yet because it's actually got a couple of scratches on it already just from being in the store. Um, but I paid $300 for this bag, well probably plus tax, maybe like $350. So I don't mind too much if it gets scratched, I'm just going to have to put like a protective leather on it, a protective on it. Um, put a protective spray on it to protect the leather so that it doesn't get scratched any further. Um, so this is kind of like similar to the leather that's on my Chanel bag. Again, just says Henry Bendel at the back. Doesn't really say anything in the front but you've got the two clasps here and they both say Henry Bendel there but again unless you kind of knew the Bendel's brand you're probably not going to know what that is. And then this is like a little pop-up one so you push that 
and that releases the clasp for that one. And then this one's pretty much the same inside. You've got your two pockets there, your pocket there for your your purse or whatever. I don't put anything in those pockets. I'm really bad. Everything just gets thrown in my bag. I can't see a label confirming the price, but this was, I think, like $600, but it was reduced. I didn't pay that. And this one also comes with a strap. So if you want to put it over your shoulder, you've got that option. But that is that one, and I think it's so, so beautiful. This is a kind of aubergine colour, um, and it's just really, really pretty. But I, the other one's my favourite one, but this is still really beautiful, so I'm really glad I got both. Um, I'll go through the one other shop that we went to. This wasn't an expensive shop or anything, but I did vlog it, and it was a beautiful shop. Um, and it's called Lily's Forest. Um, so this was the New York branch. Um, I got some jewellery in here and it's in this cute little box with a bicycle. These earrings and their little red um, earrings with anchors on. These were $15 so they weren't expensive. And then it says in the back that they have a store at South Street Seaport in New York, which is the one we went to. And then they've got one in the Garden State Plaza in Parasmus, New Jersey. And then one at the shops at Nanuit. In Nanuit, NY. So it's probably not how you say that. Um, but they do have a website, www.lelysforest.com. So I don't know if you can order... Um, and get it shipped to the, US, uh, the UK or not but if you are down at South Street Seaport um, which is exactly where you want to be if you're in New York and you're getting the ferry or whatever um, definitely check out Lily's Forest it's the cutest little shop ever it's in my vlog for either day two or day three I can't remember what day we did the the cruise um, I feel like it might be day three actually but I'll link it up below or check out my New York vlogs if I forget to link it up below this shop is the cutest shop ever and then let's talk Kate Spade I feel like Kate Spade is just my favourite brand ever it's again in that price point where it's justifiable it's not like super super expensive but everything's special so I'll go through the two smaller bags so this is actually not a clothing item first of all that I'm bringing you it's this tumbler and I love it so so much so it's white with gold polka dots um, it's got a straw and yeah, it's really really big. It says it's actually an insulated tumbler so you should be able to put um, you know, hot drinks in it or whatever if you want. My gran actually got one of these but it's like a proper flask, it's not like a tumbler with a straw, it's like a proper with like screws on kind of thing. Um, but she bought it when we were in London and I got this in New York and this was $18 and I think my gran paid like £20 for hers so... Although the clothes and the bags from Kate Spade, I think the conversion's a little bit better on because um, I saved a little bit of money buying it in New York, but not like, not a massive amount. It wasn't like a pound for a dollar sign scenario, um, whereas the accessories seem to be. So if you're looking at like, kind of like the tumblers and the agendas and notebooks and stationery and stuff, that seems to be like, they've dropped the dollar sign for a pound sign. Um, so these are much kind of cheaper to buy in New York and the candle as well. I showed that in my beauty haul which again I'll link up below but the candle was either 40 or 45 dollars and then it was either 40 or 45 pounds and when we went down to London in Kate Spade store so like candles, home accessories, stationery, things like that all seem to be a lot cheaper in the US but the clothes in the bags um, are a little bit kind of better worked out. So that was my tumbler and I think that's lovely. First one is this jumper so this is available on sale now on the, the Kate Spade website and it's just I like stripes don't know if you guys can tell um, but it's just a black and white striped jumper and it says let's fly away in red writing on it and yeah it's just it's quite a kind of slouchy oversized one and um, so it's just really comfy and um, but it's not although it's kind of oversized and comfy it's not it's not too slouchy looking like it still looks quite smart so I really like that I'm glad I got that one then I got this top as well um which again has gone on sale but all the sizes are away so I'm really glad I bought it when I did and it's a boat neck top this is all so crumpled because it's been this back for ages um and it's red and white stripes and again it's quite a kind of like I mean this is the medium that I got in this yeah it's the medium um, but as you guys can see, I mean, it's quite kind of square and loose and like, you know, it's not fitted or anything, but it's really, really lovely. And then at the back, it's got like this little kind of frill detail at the bottom so that when you're wearing it, it's just like totally plain at the front. And then it's just got that little playful detail at the back. I love a boat neck. That's the, it's slightly wider actually than the neck that's on this t-shirt that I've got on at the moment. Um, and I wear this top all the time. I'm sure you guys are fed off of seeing me film videos in it. So this will now go on rotation with this one. And... I just know I'm going to get a ton of wear out of this. They actually did this in navy as well which wasn't in the store when we went but it came out maybe like a month later or something um, and I wish I'd bought it um, because it's now on sale and again 
there's no sizes left. Now the next thing is actually something I bought from the UK Kate Spade store on sale once we came back. I actually wanted these full price and I didn't order them in time, I wasn't quick enough and then my size sold out. Um, and then they came back, they were on the, the sale, oops I hate my hair behind my ears, they were on the sale this time around and I thought I know my size isn't there but I'm just going to look anyway and somebody must have bought them and returned them or something because my size was there and I was like <sighs> so I ordered these and they are so so cute. So they come obviously Kate Spade box, orange with pink as standard, come with the dust bag which says she tucked her coral lipstick away and floated back to the party. This is the exact same dust bag as I've got for my green Kate Spade bag that I bought in Florida last time. Um, obviously that's a bag sized one so that's really cute because they now match. And if you follow me on Instagram you've already seen these but they are just, they are so cute. I just love them so much. They are these shoes so they're just plain black at the front um, and they're just a plain black shoe and the heel's not too high which is nice because they're really walkable in. But this, guys look at these, they're caps at the back, how cute is that? Can you guys see that properly? I think it looks a little bit more like Toothless from um, How to Train Your Dragon than it does a cat but you know, I'm okay with that too. Are they not just the cutest thing? So these were reduced down to £119 on the UK Kate Spade store. Um, and yeah, I'm so, so glad that I got these. Because I'd say I wanted them full price and my size wasn't there. And then I got them and I'm so... And I actually said when we were in New York, I was like, oh, these sold out in the UK, but I wonder if they might be here. And they weren't. And I did ask and the lady didn't have them. But I got them. It's really sad how much joy that gives me. So the last thing in this haul and my favourite thing is a dress that I got in Kate Spade. So beautiful. I actually went into Kate Spade expecting to buy a handbag. I bought a dress instead. Um, and it's in its garment bag which is probably not the best way to show you. It's the most beautiful dress that ever did exist. So it's like a shirt dress. It's got a collar and buttons. Um, and it's quite kind of structured at the top and it's got the buttons down and then it's the buttons stop there so it goes across it's got a little belt in the same rose print, print fabric as the rest of the dress and then it comes out into a great big massive skirt and it's just the prettiest dress in the world it's so 1950s I'll just do a cut way I think of this because I don't think I'm really <laughs> fitting it into this frame but I love it so so much. It was $498 and then obviously there was tax on so it was probably about $550 all in and like I think handbags last and last and last and I think clothes are slightly different but this dress is such good quality and it's so timeless. I was like I'm never going to not love this dress. I could pull this dress out in like a couple of years time and it's still going to be beautiful because it's sort of almost slightly kind of vintage looking with the shape of it. It's going to not like it's not going to date, it's not like it's like a really current, you know, like a bubble hem or something that's a really current fashion trend and it's going to kind of age quickly, it's like it's always going to be beautiful um, and I just, I love it so so much. It's so beautiful and I'm not usually a pink kind of person, it's, but something about this I just love, I love like, I think because it's got the black through it and it's on that grey background it's not too overly girly and pink and like glittery or anything. It's got pockets, pockets guys, pockets and I could just talk about this dress all day because I love it so 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 much. We actually were on our bus tour and this dress was in the window of the downtown Kate Spade store and then we went to the Kate Spade store on Madison which if you're in New York and you like Kate Spade and you like shopping and you just want to have a nice experience, the Kate Spade store in Madison you have to go ask for Susan, that's the assistant that helped us and she was just like, she was like the best sales assistant I have ever dealt with in my entire life, in any store, anywhere. She just was the perfect mix of like, she got, she picked up on all her tastes really quickly and was able to like suggest things and show us things that we maybe hadn't noticed, but she was never pushy. Um, she knew when to come in and like suggest things and comment and things and she knew when to leave and like give us time to talk amongst ourselves. Like she didn't try and push us into buying anything. Like I tried on like four things. You can look on my Instagram for my changing room Instagram. Um, and like I didn't feel pressured into buying any of them. I bought three of them obviously. Uh, well I bought two of them actually and then bought the jumper later. But I didn't feel at all pressured into that. You know she was just so so lovely so I really 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 recommend visiting the Madison Avenue store and asking for Susan if she's there. And it's now on sale and I don't have any regrets because if I hadn't bought this when I did and it sold out and not gone on sale I'd have been gutted. 
and I also just had such a nice experience buying it because of Susan and because of that store that I have absolutely no regrets. I'm going to stop rambling on about how much I love this dress now. I hope you've enjoyed this haul. Thank you very much for watching. I'll make sure my New York vlogs are linked up below. I've done my Sephora haul and my drugstore haul as well. Have a watch of them. Like and subscribe and yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've run out of things to say now, finally. So I'll see you later. Bye!